everybody, it's me, Susan Blackwell, and today I'm side by side. My favorite Lights of Broadway card illustration come to life. Look, it's the showman behind the snowman from Broadway's Frozen, Greg Hildreth. Hello. Greg, tell our friends at home where we are and what we're doing today. Today we are in Chelsea and we are going to go into the milk bar to get some desserts. Let's go. Greg, why Milk Bar? Why now? Milk Bar is my favorite place in New York. <laughs> Just gently <laughs> sipping soft it's syrup. It's delicious. It's good. It's my favorite place in New York to get desserts. Say, what flavor you got? I got cereal milk. I got chocolate covered pretzel ice cream. Yeah. And I love that it's like, but we also got a couple we other We got things. some other things too. This is crack pie. We got two crack of those. Crack pie. They recommended we get that. We got this actual physical cereal milk, compost which I haven't had. Compost cookie, blueberry and cream cookie. The compost cookie has coffee grounds in it, oh. which is really good. Cornflake chocolate chip marshmallow cookie. Chocolate chocolate cookie, confetti cookie. I feel like we're gonna end up in the hospital. I'm gonna put 30 seconds on the clock and you have to tell me your entire life story. Don't leave out the awesome part starting now, go. Okay, I was born in Boston, Massachusetts, more specifically West Roxbury, Massachusetts. Uh, I have three sisters, both of my parents were teachers. I went to uh, Catholic school from, from kindergarten through 12th grade. It was all boys from seven through 12. Uh, then I went to college, I went to Boston University. Ooh. I studied at the London Academy of Music and Dramatic Arts Still and I you. moved to Ten New seconds. York in 2004. Six. Five seconds. And uh, I've been really just having a great time with my cats and my plants. What the what is it like playing Olaf in the Broadway musical Frozen? It is super exciting. And, uh, and I get to puppeteer, which has always been like, a, I've like been a puppet appreciator for a very long time, but never done it before. Yeah. Um, you know, I grew up in the 80s with like Labyrinth and the Muppets and Fraggles and all of that stuff. So I was always obsessed with puppets. Yeah. What the what is it like when you make your entrance? Does the audience go crazy? Like they <laughs> they do. They do, but there's this funny there's this like funny bit of math that they have to do, which I really appreciate actually because it's like the first 5 seconds of me on stage where they go quiet for a second. So they're like, they're like, oh, it's a guy. It's a guy and a puppet, okay. They're gonna do it like that, okay. And then, then, then they go nuts, but there's like, there's like six seconds of like. I like it. Sizing, like dogs sniffing each other's butts, being like, what's the story here? Uh. What's best too is in the matinees when kids try to call to me from the audience during the show. I, when I see Frozen, <laughs> I'm gonna be an adult calling to you from- Full the, Elsa costume. Yes, I'm gonna totally cosplay it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm already rocking the hair and I'm just gonna, yeah. And yeah. I'm just gonna scream at you through the whole show. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah. Speaking of Disney, I've heard that you can talk to birds and they talk back, what the what? <sighs> It started when I was a really little kid. As you can probably guess, I was an extremely lonely child. <laughs> Were you really? <laughs> totally. And then it's like, it's, the, it's developed in, in adulthood. I was once sitting, did Kevin DeLaglia tell you about this? I don't know. Okay. I was sitting with Kevin having lunch once. There was a robin like a, across the park from us and I just like called to it and it like looked at me and flew over. I also had this crazy thing to happen in San Diego, I would go to the San Diego Zoo a lot. In the enclosure, there's a magpie, and I would, like, it's a really pretty bird. It's like a black bird with, sure. like, a white stripe. <clears throat> and I was, like, looking at this bird once, and it was kind of, like, looking back at me, and this bird literally looked at me, and I wasn't on drugs, I swear to God, and it said, hi. And if you didn't know, I didn't know, magpies can speak. And I said, hi, and it said, come here. And so I walked over to the enclosure. <laughs> it passed me a stick through the cage. Come on. I took the stick, it went nuts. I was there for like 30 minutes and I was like, I have to go back, I have to leave. It flew next to me as I was walking. It stopped, I stopped. It looked at me again and said, hi. I was like, hi. That bird wanted said, to Come date here. you. I loved that bird. It was still there. I've worked at the Old Globe twice now and I go back and visit that bird. He's still there. And do you chat? Yeah. Come on. I swear he remembers me. Why do you lie like this, Greg? I, you can't make this stuff up. 
Again. Which one of your um, fancy Broadway friends would you eat? If I had to eat any of my fancy Broadway friends. They didn't get through. There's really no way. Let's see. So you got like Christian Borel? <coughs> no. Seems he, like no. No. See no. Pasquale? It's overdone. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would, um, he burned you. <laughs> <laughs> I would eat Celia and I would, Celia Keenan Bolger, and I would start with that little freaking nose. I'm so delicious. Well, do you want to eat that nose? And just saute that? Yeah. Or like some Butter olive and garlic. oil, yeah. just some thinly sliced onion. Shallots. It'll be delicious. <laughs> yeah. Can you crack that? Yeah. So tell me what this is. This is cereal milk. And it's what remains in the bowl after you eat a bowl of yeah. uh, cornflakes. Corn yeah. All right, let's try it. Do you want to go first? Yeah. That's awesome. It's good. You taste it. <laughs> Not poisoned it. <laughs> you do any impressions? Who do you do? Who do I do? Uh, um, I don't know. I don't really do impressions. I'm like one of those lame. Judy Garland. Who told you that? <laughs> <laughs> boosted. I boosted ya. <laughs> there was this old sea shanty in Peter and the <laughs> Starcatcher that we had to sing. It was like really like yo-ho kind of. <laughs> and during tech, I would take a, like a piece of rope from the show and do Judy Garland at the foot of the stage. Just give say, me a taste. Call all hands to man the capstan. <laughs> oh, oh. Bert Lahr. Bert Lahr, yeah. It's all, whenever I cross my eyes, that's what I, I just, try. I have like facial impressions. Do it there. Bert Lahr. <laughs> Did you get it? <laughs> this is the big questions lightning round. Answer these questions as quickly as possible. God or no God? No God. What happens when we die? Nothing. Do aliens exist? No. Are ghosts real? Yes. Death penalty, yes or no? No. My purpose in life is? Everything. Cake or pie? Pie. Wrong! It's cake. Damn it. <laughs> Bottom um, of the resume, special skills. Special skills yeah. is, oh gosh. I can do a pretty good tennis sound. What's that? <laughs> and for the longest time I did it in the show and they just added a sound cue for it. Huh? Look, I'm gonna act like I'm opening yeah, this yeah. can of tennis sure. balls. Ready? Yeah. We've just got this great new can of tennis balls. Let me just. Guess what time it is? Hey, it's time for Susan's Fantasy You Box. I've got your nose and you can have it back, but first you have to sing me a song. All right. What's it gonna be? Let it go. No. Let it go. Come on. Please give me back my nose. Keep going. Let it go. Let it go. It's smaller than a hose. Here I This has sit been another amazing episode of Side by Side by Susan Blackwell you. with Greg Hildreth. Go see him in Frozen Covered on the Broadway. In deserts. My nose never bothered you anyway. I got very drunk one night with a group of my friends. We were in Stratford in um, England and we had had a lot of absinthe and we went running around in a graveyard screaming, show yourself to the, to the headstones. <laughs> show yourself! <laughs>